All right. Uh, yesterday, I saw a little reference to a, a sort of a comedian guy that uh, I had uh, lost a lot of respect for. Not that I had much respect, to be honest, in the beginning, but I'll, I'll relate this story. So back in 2007, when I was deployed to Afghanistan, you know, we were working really, really hard. I mean, we were tired, exhausted. It was just nonstop trauma. You know, the life was, you know, relatively not that great at the time. You know, there were, you know, we were, uh, you know, walking everywhere. I mean, it was just, it was just, it was just a constant grind. And occasionally the USO would put on shows, you know, a couple of probably, probably three or four in the six months I was there. And, you know, generally there were, there were decent diversions for, uh, uh, to take your mind off the constant horrific trauma that you were seeing. And Afghanistan, obviously being a Muslim, primarily Muslim country, alcohol is forbidden, you know, so the U.S. military adopted a policy that zero, zero alcohol, not that I'm much of a drinker, I never really was, but, you know, so this is the thing, and, and they were literally, I remember seeing airmen being court, well, Article 15, and, you know, uh, demoted because they were caught with a single beer, uh, so that's how serious the U.S. military was taking this, and so we had this particular actor, or comedian, I guess, or both, come in to sort of entertain us, and so I remember myself and my, my uh, the other surgeon with me, a guy's name, Dr. Tom Large, and we were pretty exhausted. We we're like, oh, we're going to go see this comedian. It's just something to, to, to sort of change things up a little bit, a little bit of entertainment to take your mind off the constant horrific stress you were under. And I remember it was raining and we had to walk everywhere. And it was probably, uh, you don't know, maybe half a mile, maybe three quarters of a mile. So we walk, we walk in the rain. We're all soaking wet. We get to the to the little auditorium where, where this was being held. And the comedian's name was Tom Arnold. Now, you guys remember him. He was, I guess the wife of Roseanne Barr, or now the husband of Roseanne Barr at one point, uh, and, 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 you know, done some movies over the years. But I remember he was, he was on stage, and we were listening, and, you know, he walks out there, and it becomes very apparent within within the first, gosh, minute of him talking that he is just drunk. He's literally completely slurring his words, inebriated, um, so bad that it was, it was, everybody was looking at him like, what the F are you doing, man? There, there was no humor at all. There's no humor in that situation. And he could barely, you know, you know, per, say anything really. And it certainly wasn't funny. So I remember we just turned around and said, you know, this is BS. And we just turned around, walked out and walked back in the rain. And so that was, you know, my impression of that guy. My only experience I've ever had with him, you know, maybe he's got problems with drug addiction or alcohol, but it's, it really is, it's kind of a slap in the face to, you know, people that are there, you know, serving the country or trying to serve the country, whether you believe about, you know, the, 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 the war, the, the necessity or the, um, the value of any particular war. I mean, it, it's not, it wasn't made by, it was, the decision was made by me. I just said, Hey, look, I'm going to do what I can to serve my country in the role as a, as a surgeon in this particular case. Um, and so it's, it's, you know, we kind of took it very insulting to, to that. And so when I see some of these people like denigrating, you know, freedom and stuff like that, I really, really, uh, uh, really kind of pisses you off. Anyway, thought I'd share that story with you guys. Um, hopefully he's gotten better. Hopefully he's gotten some sort of uh, uh, help for, for obvious problems. But I mean, that, in my view, if you're going to go, commit to something and you're too much of a, an alcoholic or a drug addict, just, just don't do it. All right, guys. Talk to you soon.